Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about syntagmatic and paradigmatic relations in linguistics. This topic is from the subject linguistics part one, English code 102. This is our lecture number six. We already have conducted five lectures in this art lecture series program. So without further ado, let's talk about our today's topic. Syntagmatic and paradigmatic relations, number one. Syntagmatic and paradigmatic relations are introduced by Ferdinand de Saussure in 1974, the founding father of linguistics, to distinguish two kinds of signifiers. Signifiers in yes, ICC is okay. Grammar is a pale, hame, jo hai, wo help karti ho learning me. So those are known as signifiers. So what are those signifiers? One concerns positioning, syntagmatic. And another, the other concerns is substitution, paradigmatic. So let's begin and talk about these two terms individually. Here, number one, syntagmatic sequential relationships between elements of language system is called syntagmatic. So sequential study or relationships between elements of language is known as syntagmatic, as Ali is working on corruption. Now the sentence is actually composed of subject, verb, object, which is actually the sequential relationships between the elements of language. That we always put subject at the first, verb, at the second, and at the third, object. So this sequential relationship or sequential study of the elements of language is known as syntagmatic. Here is another example. For example, they are bargaining on fear. So every sentence is actually composed of the sequential relationships as subject, verb, object. This sequential study of language in grammar is known as syntagmatic relations in linguistics. Here we are going to talk about paradigmatic relations, class relationships between elements belonging to the same class. For example, what is the class relationships? So we already have learned that this sentence is actually composed of subject to verb object, but all the sentences, like if even we are talking about they are bargaining on fear, this is also, we have to put first subject, then verb, and then object. So despite of what we could say they, he, or another name, or is working, we could use the other verbs as are bargaining, or they are working. And uh, at the place of object, we put only objects like on corruption or on fear. So this is known as the class study. Means every class takes the place of another class. So. Class study is known as paradigmatic relations and the sequential study of language or uh, this grammar in language is known as syntagmatic relations in linguistics. Here is one more example of this. So syntagmatic or we could say horizontal study of uh, the elements of language as the ridiculous girl fell into the pond. So this is actually the horizontal study, which is known as syntagmatic or sequential arrangement of words. But despite of this, the ridiculous, we could use silly, foolish, funny, crazy, likewise, or girl, despite of girl, we could use person, woman, lady, princess, and this way. And despite of fair, we could use jump. So this is actually the uh, vertical study of language which is a class study of elements of language that is known as paradigmatic study of language. Here is something more and a word may be said to have syntagmatic relations with the other words which occur in the sentence in which it appears, but paradigmatic relations with the words that could be substituted for it in the sentence. Now, if we example, mein hum dekhe, to ye, I gave Trasi the book. This is actually the sequential study of the elements of language in a sentence. But despite of gave, I gave, we could say I passed 
Tracy the book. I handed Tracy the book. I threw Tracy the book. So with the help of just one word, we could make so many sentences. So this is actually the class of substituted study in language that is known as the paradigmatic relations. Here is one more example. Here is a question. What is the suitable method for teaching grammatical points to second and foreign language learners? method effective grammar There are many questions like these to have an idea of the importance of grammar to learn a language. There's a number of ways have been propounded to study grammar. So, बहुत सारे यानी इसी तरीके की strategies and grammar के लिए जो हमें help करती हैं language सीखने में. Paradigmatic relations are widely used in thesauri and other knowledge organization system. तो thesauri के अंदर synonyms हम study कर रहे होते हैं यानी एक word की जगह बहुत सारे और words और उनके arrangement that is known as paradigmatic relations in linguistics. While syntagmatic relations are generally related to co-occurrence in some uh, context. Yani hum ek element ke baad dusra concept put karte. For example, boy hai to wo boys ho jata hai. Boy, boys, right? Or uh, girl, girls. To ye kya hai? Co-occurrence of the words hai. Or dusri taraf agar hum baat kare paradigmatic ki to isme hum जो है वो थिसौरी की तरह यानी एक वर्ड के जो है वो और सिनेनिम्स दैट इज नोन एज पैराडिग्मैटिक रिलेशंस हियर वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम द सिलेबस एंड द सिलेबस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द एमए इंग्लिश और बीएस इंग्लिश देयर इज अ टॉपिक सम फंडामेंटल डिकोटमीज इन लिंग्विस्टिक्स सो व्हाट इज दैट डिकोटमी वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट a classification into two opposed parts are subclasses that is known as dichotomy. Or is we simple as distinction. Yani, aise terms which help us help karte ho learning mein, magar wo aapas mein ya ek dusre se uh, opposed ho. So modern linguistics is based on some fundamental concepts which are were expounded by linguists in the beginning of 20th century. The most influential of these were Denard Bloomfield, Noam Chomsky, and Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure. So from now and onwards, we are going to learn about these distinctions. In your bham, dusre lectures we have a lot of distinctions or different terms which we help us to learn language and linguistics. We will learn them. We will learn them some fundamental dichotomies in linguistics. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you.